Welcome to another video about TMS Web Core. Today I would like to introduce the T-Web Share component. Before we can look at the T-Web Sharing component, I would like to make clear what kind of sharing we're talking about. We're talking about sharing files, meaning binary content, and sharing text. And you all have done it on your phone. Here you see sharing on an iPhone with iOS 12 and iOS 13 taken from MacStories.net. On the left side, you can see somebody tried to share a picture using AirDrop or on the right, you can see that a link from an internet page is being shared. And the iPhone then offers a sharing sheet, as it is called, where you can select you want to share it in a message or as a reminder, notes, AirDrop and so on. And this is exactly the technology that you are able to interact with using the T-Web Share component. TMS is a little bit ahead of the curve with regards to this component, meaning right now there's only mobile support. None of the browsers, be it Edge, Firefox or Chrome, do support this technology on a desktop system yet. It is to be expected that at some point Chrome, Firefox and Edge will be able to interact with the technology that is provided on Windows to share content and on the Apple Mac OS that is available there as well. Especially as Apple announced plans to more and more unify the mobile operating system with its desktop operating system. However, as you can see on the mobile side, you cover both iOS and Android devices on the recent browsers. This picture, by the way, is taken from canuse.com and you can dig into the numbers a little bit more using the link given on the slide. There's actually only one more other limitation. Because you can share personal or confidential information, the framework that TWebShare uses can only be used with an HTTPS connection, meaning you can test this with the local development web server. You need to deploy your application to a web server that has HTTPS enabled. You can find this example as part of the demonstrations bundled with TMS Web Core. Just go to the basics folder and there you will find a folder called Web Share. However, in order to try it, the easiest way is to use the demo that has been published to the TMS software servers. Just open the web browser on your mobile device and go to the URL of the demonstration. You'll see the complete URL of the video on screen right now. As already said, you have the option to share text and binary data. It is rather logical to offer both options for testing. First of all, let's look at sharing text. You can provide a title and body text that you want to share. You click share text and the share sheet will show up. As this device is only a demonstration device that I use, you won't see any contacts yet because as you can see, direct share is not available. However, if I open up the sheet, you see all the applications that are available that I have pre-installed, or you can simply use copy to copy the information into the clipboard. So this is the bridge to the operating system using the browser. The same happens if you share an image file. The demonstration creates a basic image file consisting of a few geometric shapes using the T-Web paint box control that is also part of TMS Web Core. So clicking share image file, you see the same thing. Just now you have the ability to share the binary information. I'm going to click Gmail to send the information as part of an email. And you see that the image is now attached to the email and I could write an email now on my mobile device. The implementation is really simple. Just drop the T-Web Share component on your form and looking at the implementation for sharing a text, sharing an image file, you can do that by double clicking on the component and you see it's one line of code. First of all, you specify the title of the text that you want to share, then the actual body, and then you might also add, as it is called, a URL in addition to that. Sharing data just works like sharing a text. The trick is that you encode your image as a data URL and attach it here, as you can see right there, as a HTML file array. So you just create an array where the file content is the first element of the array, and that's how you can share binary content. 
the mobile device or any application is able to decipher that data that you provide by specifying the MIME type of it. So if you were to attach a PDF document, for example, you would have to say data colon application slash PDF. On the internet, you can find a list of common MIME types for very popular applications. And of course, because it's an image PNG, there are several applications that support this kind of MIME type. You would also be able to post this image on Facebook, attach it to a Twitter feed, and so on. But that is all part of your mobile device, or part what the browser does for you to select the applications that fit. And sooner or later, when the desktop browsers catch up, you'll be able to share files like this using desktop systems. For example, you'll be able to issue an email from your web application using the share feature. Once again, TMS is leading the way to include brand new technology that is just available for mobile devices and will be available for your desktop browser system soon, so you can build modern web applications that are ready for the future.